Okay, now on my latest uh, Let's Play Fallout New Vegas episode, there were some comments from one particular poster basically accusing me of being cheap and cheating, so to speak, and making the game ridiculously easy by using the realistic weapon damages mod. Now, the realistic weapon damages mod uh, doesn't boost damage as everyone thinks it does. What it does is it makes any limb damage that you do get increased. So, for example, if, if you do damage to the head limb, it, it amplifies it. it probably, I think it multiplies head by four. And what this means is, whilst if you get hit in the head with a bullet, if it gets through the armor, if it gets through the DT and does actual damage to your head, the amount of damage it does is amplified. But it doesn't just amplify the damage overall. So, for example, if you pick up a 10mm pistol and shoot a Deathclaw, you're not going to get through the armor. It doesn't make the pistol do more damage. It will not make the pistol pierce the Deathclaw armor. But if you shoot the Deathclaw with a sniper rifle bullet and pierce his armor, as you probably should, once the bullet hits his brain, it will do far more damage than it would have normally. And what this does is it makes combat extremely fast and extremely furious. It makes it so that planning is essential because, you know, if you sneak up on a, on a bunch of enemies and get the drop on them, you have got a good chance of winning. If they ambush you, you better be a lot better than them. Um, you know, it's no more standing there taking five or six bullets, you're going to die. The mod also massively increases melee damage. You'll, you'll notice I get one-shotted pretty much by everything. If you get hit by um, a machete, I'm probably going to die. A ghoul hits me with his claws. T two times, I'm probably going to die. If I get hit by a super sledge, I'm dead. Ripper, chainsaw, all things like that, dead. Instantly dead, 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 dead. You get hit by a death claw, dead. I am, if someone comes running at me with a chainsaw, I have got to shoot him before he gets to me, or I'm dead. So it changes combat. I think it makes combat a lot harder, personally. Some people might think that it doesn't. It, it certainly doesn't make it easier. Um, it definitely does not make it easier. So, um, someone actually said, oh, you should try doing Caesar's Battle without that mod installed. Uh, um, first of all, let me just say something. I have played this game, uh, Fallen New Vegas, a hell of a lot. <laughs> I've finished it so many times, I can't even count how many times. However, I've disabled realistic world damages, uh, weapon damages, and I will load up the game just before the the Caesar fight. And what you're going to see, I reckon, is pretty much the same fight. Except I will probably take a few shots extra to kill them. And they may get to me, and they may get a few punches in. But those punches won't do half as much damage, and I will almost certainly survive them. Uh, that's, that's worst case scenario, I think. Um, personally, I think with Jack the way he is now, and Jack is not the most powerful build that I could have. He's not. I've deliberately made him pretty, well, not I wouldn't say weak, but I've deliberately not power built him. That's for sure. So, so let's, oh, first thing, first thing, I normally play with realistic weapon damages on hard difficulty, but... We're going to try, this is now no weapon, no realistic weapon damages, and we're going to play on very hard. And according to this, oh, and this person also accused me of playing on easy settings as well, pretty much, in his comments, said, and I bet you play on easy, right? So, there you go, very hard now, with no realistic weapon damages. Um, so, let's go to the, now, I took whiskey... Buff. I took everything that was useful, basically. Uh, rebound, rocket, rushing water, steady, turbo, atomic cocktail. And I read one of the books, didn't I? I did, I read one of the books. Okay, let's go and see how this combat is going to turn out now. Get out of my way.
Now, they do take a lot more damage, it is true. As you can see. But they're not doing a huge amount to me. They even hit me there. They don't do a huge amount of damage to me. And I still killed them. It probably took more bullets. But... And I increased it to very hard. Whereas I played it... In my playthrough, I played it on hard, but with... Um, with uh, realistic weapon damages. I mean, just so you don't think it's a fluke, I can... do it again. And... I'm pretty, pretty sure I can just keep repeating this ad infinitum. Um, even on very hard. Now, if I try... The thing is, is what this person was trying to suggest was that... Um, tell you what, let's just double check again, double check again. Settings. Gameplay. Very hard. Now, what this person was actually trying to suggest was that the mod itself made it easier. Which means, by disabling the mod, the, that fight should have been even harder had I left it on hard. So had I left it on hard, that fight would have been infinitely harder without that mod. Which I think you can see, that can't be true if, when I play on very hard, it's still easier than it was with that mod. Um, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Whiskey. Buff out. Jet. Medex. Rebound. Rocket. Rushing water, steady, turbo, and the Millsup review. And... Oh, missed. That's not good. I actually got hit that time. But you notice, I didn't die. Whereas, when it comes down to it, had I got hit like that with realistic weapon mods installed, I would have died. Now, I know it's not a good idea to focus on the negative comments, but sometimes, sometimes you can't help it. It is unfortunate. It's one of those things you can't help it. Sometimes when people make some sort of comments, you do, you do, it gets under your skin. But in this case, it, it went beyond just being irritating. Um, I wanted to nip the speculation about that mod in the bud. I want people to understand that if they think that mod is somehow making the game easier for me, they are simply wrong. And I also want people to understand that I have played this game through several times, and I am very well aware of how difficult and easy the game can be. And I can tell you up front, absolutely without any reservation, that this is probably the hardest playthrough I have ever done because I have, A, set the mods in such a way to make life difficult for myself, but I have also not um, used a character build that is optimal, not even slightly. I've avoided the most overpowered skill, which is speech, and I, you know, I'm going ballistic weapons rather than energy weapons, and I generally think energy weapons, on the whole, have the edge for power. If you want to do a power playthrough, I think energy weapons win. I've taken perks that were downright silly, and I've chosen, I've left shotguns that are much better than the one I use, and armor that's better than the armor I'm using because of the way it looks. I have generally gone out of my way to not power build. So, this is the most difficult playthrough I've had, and I've played the game through many times on very hard, in hardcore mode, with and without Project Nevada installed. So, I mean, I don't want to play the, you know, the authority card here, but I actually know what I'm talking about on this. Try to remember that Fallout New Vegas is the game that got me started in, in, in YouTube, actually. 
and is the game I did my most prolific modding for. So it only stands to reason that I probably played it one hell of a lot. Way more than I played Skyrim. And I do mean that. Way more than I've uh, played Skyrim. So that should give you an idea of how well I actually know the game. I know sometimes I act as if I have no idea what's coming. Uh, occasionally it is true. Occasionally there is something I've not seen before. Um, but very often it is me deliberately refusing to think about knowledge that I have, but Jack doesn't. And, and, and I can actually do that. I know that's a little odd. It sounds weird. I know. It sounds very, very weird, probably. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> actually, I probably shut up now. I'm going to start, start sounding like a crazy person. Anyway, I hope that settles that and uh, lays it to rest. So the next time anyone says, oh, that what mod is making the game easy, I can just po point them to this video. Because, trust me, the fight with the mod installed was a lot harder, which is funny, seeing as I actually played it on hard difficulty, whereas what you just saw was very hard difficulty. I think that pretty much proves my point. Okay, anyway, thanks for putting up with this somewhat weird ramble. After um, looking at that video, I actually realised that the poster probably would still argue that the fight I did there on Vanilla um, was tougher than the fight I did with the realistic weapons uh, damage mod installed. I don't think it. I don't think that makes much sense to be honest, because as you saw, I did it twice and I didn't die. Um, it took slightly longer, but it really wasn't tough, and I didn't really have to fight for it. I got punched a couple of times and ignored it. But it's actually an unfair comparison. If you're going to compare realistic weapon damages, you have to look at the fight I did in Caesar's Tent with this mod on was at hard difficulty. So let's see that fight again without the mod at hard difficulty. Because if you want to see how the mod affects the fight, I guess I have to look at it at the identical difficulty. I mean, you could argue you know, playing on very hard will make the game a little tougher, which it, it does, but I would argue it just makes the game, as I say, spongy. But I'm, I'm, I want to make sure I'm covering all the bases right now. Probably a little bit too um, OCD of me. But I do realise people, you know, would look at that and say, ah, oh, well, you see, that fight was tougher because it went on longer and you had to move around a bit, even after I got punched. Um, so... Um, I reset the game difficulty back to hard. This is this is what it was. This is what it was with realistic weapon damages. Now we're going to see without realistic weapon damages. Let's drug up, so to speak. So this should actually be a better comparison of the game with the mod installed and without. So this is this is going to be the the best way to compare how this mod affects the game compared to the vanilla game. There you go. Hard difficulty without the mod installed. And yeah, it did. It did. It took uh, a few extra bullets to kill him. But um, you're not going to convince me that that was a hell of a lot more difficult than with realistic weapon damages installed. In fact, quite the opposite. Because we, we, we all know that had they got to me, they wouldn't have killed me.